Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Uh, and welcome to this new video on Bonk. Um, daily update. I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's not so much an emergency update. I mean, over the last couple of hours, uh, we haven't really moved that much. Uh, we have been bearish, all right. And yesterday in in the video, I also was a little bit bearish, all right. I, I said, I believe at least that it was most likely that we would drop down to this level right here between 20,000 and 18,500. So far I've been right, but that doesn't matter. I mean, the thing is, is that there's always, like like with cryptos like Bonk, the, the, the community is so, uh, well, stuck up sometimes. Because, I mean, I've always been bullish on Bonk, all right? Always have, I've been bullish on Bonk. And then one time I'm bearish when the price is actually falling, all right? I'm, I, I, just, I just say what I see, all right? I, I say what I see and I'm not going to say it's bullish, and when I think it's bearish. Um, but then all of a sudden people are saying like, oh, he just wants it to fall. Oh, guess who's short? Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter, but you should know that's not the truth. All right. I just, I just, I just say what I see. And what I've seen in the last two days is that yesterday the open interest was already falling down rapidly, which means it's losing momentum. And then Bunk had also broken below this major support level right here between 26,000 and 27,500. So bearish breakout technically losing momentum the only way bonk could have been bullish again is if the momentum grew which was not the case so that's why i was bearish and that's also why i'm still bearish right now now obviously uh and and apart from that i was also bearish because a binance and a coinbase listing for a meme coin usually signals the top that's just historically how it's always been i mean that doesn't necessarily mean that that uh, will always be the case and i know the circumstances are different with bonk but uh, historically that's been the case so for now uh, we do have a major support level coming up, especially if you if you take this entire level between 17,500 and 20,000. I expect support there. I, I think there's, um, I mean, at this moment, the, the, the market structure, I think, is, uh, is, is quite weak. I mean, the, the open interest over the last day uh, has still been dropping down quite a bit. It's stabilizing now. Uh, the market is opening. So I, I, I think we could see some, some bullish momentum. But overall, I'm now bearish on the short term. All right, so I don't think it's most likely that we're going to get a bullish breakout here, but I do think it's a possibility. But for me, look, we're dropping down right now to that level. Uh, we have a ton of support here between 20,000 and 17,500. So like we have the 0 0.618 FIB of the entire move up. We have the 200 EMA. We have some sort of an old Fibonacci level. So we're going to find support here. And I think we're going to get some strong support unless Bitcoin crashes. But the only way in which we could rally again is if Bonk, look, Bonk could go all the way up to 25,000, but we need to break above 25,000 if we want to rally, right? If Bonk from that support, which I do think is a great support and is going to provide some strong bullish momentum, if Bonk is able to break above 25,000 from there, all right, then we're on. Then we can rally back up to, to 30,000, 32,000, and perhaps even higher. But like I said, given the circumstances right now, which is that the momentum has dropped down over the last 24 hours and is now flat, and we've had only bearish breakouts in the last uh, two days, I'm going to say that I think it's most likely that this level will hold, but that eventually, uh, or that, that it's not going to lead to a, to a new high, um, and that eventually we might even drop down lower towards uh, 15,000. All right, so those are my thoughts. Uh, that's what you need to know, at least in my opinion for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to check out my premium and signal group. And, uh, and bye.